All right, everybody, welcome to Raw Cards R Us, and this is week six of NFL picks, predictions, and player value card talk. All right, everybody, let's hop right into this. We're going to start with Thursday night football, Washington at Chicago Bears. We got Carson Wentz for the Washington Commanders. He went 25 for 38, 358, uh, two touchdowns, one interception. Top running back was Robinson for 9 for 22, zero touchdowns. Top wide receiver was D. Brown for two receptions for 105 with two touchdowns for Brown. And then for the Bears, Justin Field went 15 for 21, 208. One touchdown, no interceptions. He was the top running back with eight eight carries, um, 47 yards, 47 yards, zero touchdowns. Top wide receiver was uh, Montgomery for four receptions for 62 yards, zero touchdowns. Uh, injury report for Washington. It's going to be uh, running back Williams out with the knee. Wide receiver Dotson, hamstring, tight end Thomas, calf. Offensive tackle, Sam Cosme, finger, cornerback, Williams, Jackson, third, back. Uh, safety, Butler, Pracy Butler, quad, and then questionable, Brown. Brown with the groin injury for the Washington. So we're going to go with the Washington and Bears. We're going to go with the Bears. We're going with the Bears on this one. Uh, both, of them, both of them team on card value is going down. Justin Fields not looking too good. Wentz is not looking too good. I don't like how his coach put him under the bus. That was not cool there. A lot of injuries. A lot of people are not stepping up right there. Uh, dropping catches, dropping passes. It's not just the quarterback. You guys going to give the Brock the, uh, Gibsons out too, or he hasn't really done nothing. And, um, yeah, it's not all on the quarterback right there. Quarterback needs to be managed by the by the coaches. The coaches, that, the teams that are successful have successful coaches that manage the game to know don't be throwing the ball 38 times when you know you're not winning. All right, so we got the Bears on that one. We got next Sunday. That, that, no, first Sunday game. That was Thursday Night Football. So first Sunday game is going to be 10 a.m. Baltimore at New York Giants. G-Men all on fire right now. 4-1 and one with the NFC Beast. That's right. We went from NFC Least to NFC Beast. Uh, Lamar Jackson went for Baltimore 19 for 32. 174, one touchdown, one interception. Jackson also the top carrier, 12 uh, carries for 58 yards, zero touchdowns. Mark Andrews, top wide receiver for eight receptions for 89 yards, one touchdown, no injuries to report on there. And the G-Men, both coming off a win, these teams. Uh, Daniel Jones went 21 for 27. He only threw 27 times. See that? That's what you got to do to get dubs. And then run the rock with 217 yards, zero touchdowns, zero interceptions. Top running back, Saquon Barkley, uh, when he's on fire right now, heating up. Saquon Barkley, heating up. All right, card value going up. You'll see that. Uh, 13 for 70, one touchdown. Wide receiver was Slayton, six for 79 yards, zero touchdowns. And we're going to go with Baltimore for the selection on Baltimore versus Balt was gonna be Baltimore versus Giants. We're going to go with Baltimore. All right, and then the next game is going to be morning game Jags at Indy. We're going to get T Law versus Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan come off a win, Jags coming off a loss. Uh, um, T Law went 25 for 47, 286. 47 is way too many times, that's why he lost. Two interceptions, zero touchdowns. Top running back was Travis Etienne. 10 reception, no, 10 carries for 71 yards, zero touchdowns. Wide receivers was M Jones. Seven receptions for 104, zero touchdowns. Matty Ice went 26 for 41. They almost lost. See how many times he threw it? Uh, 251, zero touchdowns, two interceptions. Jackson's top, Jackson was D. Jackson was a top running back. Six, no, 30, um, 13 for 62, zero touchdowns. Top receivers was A. Pierce for eight receptions for 81 yards, zero touchdowns. And for the pick on Indy versus Jags, I'm going to go Indy. Indy, Indy on that one. Their defense is, I think, better than uh, the Jags. So let's see what happens right there. So we're going with uh, Jags at Indy. We're going Indy. Then the next game, morning game, New England at Cleveland Browns. Uh, New England, B. Zappy. Oh, he's, he's heating up. He's heating up right now. So watch out for him. He's managing the game pretty, pretty well. That's all you need is a game manager. 
and you're going to win games. And of course, Griff coach making out their good calls, calling the right timeouts, game management. Again, coach and head coach. I mean, head coach and quarterback. Basically, two coaches out there. But Zappi, 71 for 21, 188, one touchdown, one interception. Running back, uh, Ramon Stevenson, tearing it up. Card value going up for Stevenson. He went 25 carries for 161. Hand him the rock. That's all you guys are going to get to. 20, 20 plus carries every game to your, to your running back. And eventually, he's going to break one. But you got to give it to him. Uh, top right receiver was Myers. He went 7 for 111, 111 with a touchdown. Uh, so Myers pretty looking pretty good out there. Seven for he was top target. He looked Zappy likes him. And then uh, for Brissett, uh, Jacoby Brissett went 21 for 34, 236, one touchdown, one interception. Nick Chubb tearing it up. Hard value going up for Nick Chubb. 17 for 134, two touchdowns. Top wide receiver was tight end Yoku. He went six for 88, zero touchdowns. Yoku always going up. He's going up. He's one of the best tight ends in the game. Whether you like it or not. Uh, next morning game is going to be Cincinnati at New Orleans. There's no injuries for these for these games either. I don't have no any injuries on my reports. The only re injuries we had for this week were going to be the Commanders and uh, defensive back for the Bears, which is questionable. Krikshank? I don't know what his name, but there's not too many injuries for this week coming up. Notable injuries. Um... So for Brissett, yeah, Chubb going up. I'm going to pick for New England at Cleveland. I'm going to go New England. Let's go Zappy. Keep it up. So we're going New England. And next morning game is going to be Cincinnati at New Orleans. Joe Burrow went 24 for 35, 270, 217, one for one. So one touchdown, one interception. Uh, Joe Mixon went 14 for 76 yards, zero touchdown. Uh, Hurst was his top right receiver. He went 6 for 53. One touchdown. Chase went targeted for seven times, 50 yards. So they really shut him down that game against Baltimore. Um, and then uh, for New Orleans, Andy Dalton went six for 24, 187, 101. So one touchdown, one interception. Top running back was Tyson Hill. Went carried it nine times for 112 yards, three touchdowns. Top wide receiver was Alvin Kamara with six receptions for 94 yards. And they're coming off a win. Andy Dalton heating up right now. Alvin Kamara heating up right now. And uh, Tyson Hill on fire. So if you guys are Tyson Hill fans, I just sold a Tyson Hill auto numbered card. He's he heating up right now. He's pretty good. So for Cincinnati and New Orleans, I'm going to go New Orleans. New Orleans to be Cincinnati. Cincinnati is not looking tough out there. Where New Orleans is looking tough. They have good coaches. So I'm going New Orleans. New Orleans at no, Cincinnati and New Orleans. We're going to New Orleans. Next game, morning game, Tampa Bay at Pittsburgh. Uh, Tampa Bay, Tom Brady went uh, 35 for 51. Almost lost the game. Look at it, he threw it 51 times. Uh, 351 yards, one touchdown, no interceptions. Top running back was Fournette. He went four, 14 carries for 56 yards, one touchdown. He also was a top wide receiver. Eight, 10 receptions for 88 yards, one touchdown. He's a workhorse right there, Fournette. And then for Kenny Pickett, he went... You're gonna lose. You're gonna lose games when you're throwing it 52 times. He went 34 for 52, 327, zero touchdowns, one interception. Um, Warner was a top running back to shut down Najee Harris. He carried it 11 for 20 times, 20 carries, and Warner got five for 24. So he was a top wide receiver. So card value for Najee Harris going down, or they just need a hand on the rock because. You can't be throwing the ball 52 times for Kenny Pickett like that. That's not good. So, and then George Pickens was a top wide receiver. Six for 83, no touchdowns, but he was a top wide receiver. We're going Tampa Bay against Pittsburgh just because Pittsburgh looks like Duke. All right. So, Tampa Bay at Pittsburgh. We got Tampa Pittsburgh. Bay, I mean. And then for the next morning game, it's going to be 49ers at Atlanta. I mean, Atlanta. Yeah, Atlanta. So, 49ers at Dirty Birds. Uh, Jimmy G went 18 for 30. 253. Two touchdowns, two interceptions. Zero interceptions. Running back was Wilson. He went 17 for 200 and 120 yards. One touchdown. And Brandy, Brandon Ayuk was a top wide receiver for three receptions for 58 yards. Zero touchdowns. Um... 
And then for Atlanta, Marcus Mariota, 24 for 25, 174, one touchdown, zero interceptions. Mariota was a top running back also. He carried it for seven receptions, seven carries for 61 yards, um, no touchdowns. And then the top receiver was Zacharis, Zacharis, two receptions for 39 yards. And 49ers over Atlanta. So we got 49ers over Atlanta, 49ers. Next pick is going to be New York Jets on Green Bay. Ooh, that's going to be a good game. It's going to be Zach Wilson versus Aaron Rodgers. That's going to be a good one. Zach Wilson coming off a win went 14 for 21. He threw it 21 times and he won. Hand the ball off to the guy who's going up, Brees Hall. Card value going up. Brees Hall on fire right now. All right. You guys got any Brees Hall cards? Make sure you guys hop on that and get your Brees Hall in. Because he's the one you want. He's going to be the future of the NFL. As long as you keep handing the rock like that. Um, so that Brees Hall went, you know, went 18 carries for 97 yards. And he also received the ball two times for 100 yards. And he scored a touchdown. Yeah. Brees Hall is on fire. He's good. He's on fire. That's my guy. I'm going to put running backs in this one. You're going to see a lot of running backs. It's going to be Saquon Barkley. This is going to be running back special. All running backs. This is a running back season. You got to run it. You got to run the rock. You got to run it as a quarterback. You got to run it as a... You just got to run it. That's all it comes down to. So for... Green Bay, Aaron Rodgers, 25 for 39, 222 yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions. Jones only got the ball 13 times for 63 yards. No wonder why they lost. And then um, Cobb was top wide receiver for seven receptions for 99 yards, zero touchdowns. For Jets over Green Bay, I'm not putting Green Bay on there. Green Bay is letting me down and put the Jets just because. So Green Bay at Jets, I got Jets beating Green Bay. Yeah, you heard it here. I want to put Green Bay, but... No, I'm not going to do it. Jets is looking too good right now. I'm going to go with the hot hand. Jets. So, Jets. Uh, and card value for Zach Wilson going up. Card value for um, Brees Hall going up. Next game is going to be Minnesota at Miami. Uh, Kirk Cousins on fire. What did you say? Kirk Cousins off? Yes, Kirk Cousins on fire right now. All right. No joke about that guy. You better watch out for him. He's, he's hungry. He's after it. He's been in the league for a long time. He knows what he's doing. Better watch out for KC. He's 23 for 41, 296, one touchdown, one interception. Cook carried the ball 18 times. See that? They get off of dub because he carried the ball 18 times. 94 yards, two touchdowns. Jefferson went off 12 receptions for 154. I recall the last week. If you guys haven't seen already, week five picks, week four picks, and week three picks, and week two picks, all in the description. You guys want to see those? Good entertainment. And then um, for Miami, Teddy Bridgewater out with the injury right away. Uh, Thompson came in. Uh, rookie, 19 for 33, 166. Uh, zero touchdowns, one interception. Uh, Raheem Morissette went 18 for 113, one touchdown. They almost, they, were, they had to run the rock. And Tyreek Hill, seven receptions for 47 yards. I like Raheem Morissette. I like him a lot. So he's one of the running backs on the list. So him and... Who's gonna be next on the list? Um, so what for Minnesota and Miami? We're going Minnesota. So Minnesota and Miami, we got the Vikings. Next game is gonna be Carolina at Las Vegas Raiders. Raiders. Oh no, sorry. Uh, uh, LA Rams. So it's Carolina at Rams. Carolina at Rams. Okay. So Baker Mayfield went 20 for 36, 215, one. One interception, no touchdowns. Not good. I don't like Baker Mayfield. Where's Sam Darnold? Baker Mayfield, cold as ice right now. He's going down. Uh, Christian McCaffrey, the only person out there. He needed up. Another running back that's doing it all. You know, he's going to be one of my highlighted running backs. Give him the ball. Christian McCaffrey went. He carried it 14 for 51, 54, one touchdown. S. Smith was a top right receiver, four for 69. And then for Matt Ryan, Ma uh, Matthew Stafford and the Rams, he went 28 for 42, 308, one touchdown, one interception. Uh, C. Akers was top uh, running back for 13 for 33 yards. And Cooper Cup, 7 for 125 and one touchdown. Cooper Cup on fire, of course, as usual. But this is a running backs game. They need to hand the ball off to the running back. 
get him the rock those are the time they're gonna win the games when your running back is doing good get him the ball more than 20 times at least 18 and up that's what i say and then for the pick on carolina at rams we're gonna go with the rams don't let us down this week we picked you last week no we picked the rams yeah we picked the rams over the the cowboys did i pick the rams over the cowboys yeah i did and they let me down Cowboys, because I didn't want the Cowboys to win. Of course, look at Fly Eagles Fly. We got them. Well, it's coming up. Wait for that game. Woo! We got a big weekend this week, week six. It's going to be good. All right, here we go. So, for uh, we picked uh, the Rams over Carolina. Next game, Arizona, uh, Seattle. Kyle Murray went 28 for 42, 250. Uh, one touchdown, one interception. Uh, James Conner, top. Uh, Running back, nine carries for 55 yards. And um, uh, Hollywood Brown, seven for 80, seven for 78, one touchdown. And then for Geno Smith and the Seahawks, Geno Smith went 16 for 25, 268, three touchdowns, no interception. Walker, top running back, eight, recept eight carries for 88 yards. Uh, and the top, the top wide receiver was uh, Lockett for five, five receptions. For 104 yards. Lockett still got it. Two touchdowns also. For Arizona and Seattle, we're going to go with Seattle. Yes, I'm picking Seattle. Arizona, Seattle, we're going to Seattle. Let's go, Birds. Bird gang. Okay, next pick for uh, afternoon game 125, Bills and KC. Bills at Kansas City. Oh, this is going to be another big game. Two big quarterbacks. There's a lot of big games this weekend. NFL is going to be crazy. All right, here we go. Josh Allen. Coming off a win, 20 for 31, 204, 24 yards, four touchdowns, one interception. Uh, Singletary was a top running back, six uh, carries for 42 yards. Um, Allen also was a top running back too. And and then he, uh, um, Allen's top wide receiver was Davis with three receptions for 171 yards. Homie went off, two touchdowns. Davis on fire right now. Not a running back, but he's on fire. Uh, Josh Allen on fire. Patrick Mahomes on fire. Coming off a win. Both these teams, big game. Mahomes went 29 for 43. Two, four touchdowns. Four touchdowns. Zero interceptions. Uh, McKinnon was a top running back for eight, and eight receptions and 53 yards. Zero touchdowns. Uh, Valdez Scantley was the top right receiver for six receptions and uh, 90 yards. And the pick for this, I'm going to go Casey. Because it's going to be at home. It's a little loud. It's a little loud in there. It can really dictate the offensive line. So they can make, you know, get you jump. And those those crucial penalties really count. So you got to be careful. All right. So for the pick, I went Casey. So I, at Bills at Casey, we're going to go Casey. And then for Sunday night football. Winning all day for Sunday night. Dallas at Philly. Versus the number one team in the NFL, which it should be, but the, the rankings put them at number three, which don't make no sense. But hey, we'll be the underdogs. We get it. Cooper Rush, though, coming in from Dallas with the. Uh, is it going to be a little controversy if he wins? Uh, 10 for 16, managing the game. That's all you need is a game manager, game coach out there. Someone's going to win. The homie's undefeated. He's 4 0 as a starter. He got 10 for 16, 201. Two, 202 no sorry 102 yards zero touchdowns zero interceptions running back uh was po tony pollard went eight carries for 86 yards one touchdown even uh see uh zekio alley got it like 15 times too not that many yards but he still got the rock which is it's just giving him knowing that they're going to give the rock that's what you got to do and then cd lamb was their top wide right receiver with five receptions for 36 or 53 yards zero touchdown philly jalen hurts went off on the ground, no touchdowns through the air, no interceptions, but he went 26 for 36, 239, zero touchdowns, zero interceptions, and he carried the rock for 15 times for 66 yards, two run-in touchdowns, which he passed Cam Newton on the all-time rushing list as a quarterback. Sanders, uh, uh, Sanders went 15 carries for 58 yards. See that? You got to you got 15 right there and 15 right there. That's perfect. Dallas Goddard, eight. Went eight receptions for 95 yards for zero touchdowns. He was a top wide receiver for us. And you guys let me know who you pick because you know who I'm going to pick. But I want to see who you guys pick on Dallas versus Eagles. Leave a comment. Who do you guys got? Let me know. 
I'm biased, so I can't pick. I'm not gonna pick. You know what I mean? And I'm I'm right here. Eagles, y'all eagled out all the time. So you guys pick for the Sunday night football game. Leave a comment. Who do you guys got for Sunday night? Okay. And then for Monday night football, it's gonna be Denver at uh, the Chargers and Russell Wilson coming off a of, garbage of a game. His card value going down, down, down. Uh, 21 for 39. 246 274 zero touchdowns two interceptions top running back was him no it was um uh top running back was Malvin Gordon 15 for 4, 50 15 for 54 zero touchdowns Sutton was a top wide receiver for five receptions for 74 yards zero touchdowns and for Herbert Justin Herbert in the gang going up he's out there injured toughness grid that's what we like to see going up he's on fire herbert 22 for 34 zero touchdown no one touchdown zero interceptions eckler top running back for six care 16 carries 16 carries 173 and one touchdown see that eckler 16 carries for 173 one touchdown that's how you win games right there eckler on fire right now too and mike williams oh he's on fire right now credible catch he's good 10 receptions for 100 and 34 yards no touchdowns but he's on fire watch out for mike williams i got uh Denver at, at um chargers we got chargers all day let me know who you guys picked though like comment and subscribe if you're new to the channel and if you want to see week seven make sure you subscribe we're gonna do week eight nine ten and so on and so forth hope you guys are all enjoying your day i know we have we have a rough time right now with all these gas prices and all this but this is what we're here to entertain and make sure we we keep positive vibe and I'll always keep her head up and her chin up no matter what happens. Because there's always going to be ups and downs. Just remember to keep that up positive. Keep that up positive vibe all the time. See you guys in the next one.